Our next turning to Art. Um, tell us about how you've defined the problem you're tackling and what are some of the innovations that are um, that you're proving out now as you're getting to a cost point where you can be sustainable. So tell us about how you came across the problem and, and what your innovations have been to solve it. Uh, yeah, I think uh, well, I think it's quite similar to what Jeff has been describing about a pile of waste. So uh, to draft a picture worldwide, I think 80%, around 80% worldwide of all wastewater is not treated at the moment. Uh, that, that's the Western world and uh, and also low-income countries, and um, that's a huge problem. And, and we operate in Ghana, and in Ghana, it's actually 95 or even 97%. Of, of waste that is uh, is dumped in, in in the environment or in the ocean, and so that's a huge problem because it has an effect on the health situation and uh, and also it, there's a huge public cost. It's a bit hidden, but there is a huge public cost. Uh, and well, I think there's two reasons why that is the case still, and why why it's even uh, getting worse. And I think one is that the cost of running uh, such a, a traditional treatment system is just too expensive. The, the initial cap capex, the initial capital investment that you have to make, and operational cost is uh, significant. And the other one is the lack of uh, the, the right skills or the capacity to, to actually do that, to, to develop and to, to operate. And, um, and that's something where we are stepping in. So Safisana, we started uh, four, years, uh, four years ago with a commercial plant in Accra in Ghana, uh, like Lisa did in, in, said in the introduction. And that's where um, we actually, it's like a circular model where we collect fecal sludge from toilets, we collect organic waste, we work with bigger uh, corporates like with Unilever and, uh, and Nestle to put those sources together and produce fertilizer and energy. And through that method, we can actually uh, cover the cost of operating the system. And, and that, that's the key thing what we see happen now. Um, and the second thing is that we step in, not to just advise them, but to actually own and operate. So I think that that's, that's the, in essence what we, what we try to solve for the governments and for the local industries. Um, let me stop here for a moment.